Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl Sierra here. And today I am gonna be showing you guys three coats. If you have these coats, I feel like you would be good for like all fall winter. I actually have my partner Connor. He is gonna be trying on the same coats that I'm gonna be trying on, so that's gonna be fun. Actually, Connor, come on over here. This is my partner Connor. Come on, babe, come on. This is my partner, Connor. He's gonna be trying on the clothes with me. This is also my photographer, my videographer. Uh, couldn't do it without this guy. Aw, thanks. Yeah. But, um, oh, come on, yeah, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've been Sorry. slicking my hair down. Uh, and I wanted both of us to try on these coats because I feel like it would be cool for you guys to see what it looks like on, of course, a more feminine body type and a more masculine body type. So the first coat that I think would do good in anyone's wardrobe is going to be a wool sport coat light jacket type of a situation. Um, and these are super, super easy to find. Like I have I got this one at The Real Real, and this one's actually by Calm, which I'm super, super happy about because this is like my first ever Calm piece. But you don't even necessarily have to go to like The Real Real. You can definitely go to like your local Goodwill, Salvation Army, and just go through the men's blazers. Like it's literally a dime a dozen, like wool blazers, linen blazers, like linen cotton blazers at the thrift store. So um, this style jacket is definitely really, really easy to find. And I would say more specifically like a wool blazer, whether it be wool or cashmere, uh, mainly because obviously if it's for the fall and winter, wool cashmere is just like a warm fabric to wear during those months. I just find that a more loose fitting sport coat or boxy or sport coat. That silhouette I feel like it's just more much easier to like dress up or dress down. As you can see, I'm wearing it with, what did I wear with it in the video? <laughs> Look, I forget what I wear. As you can see, I chose to wear with like a sweater, black jeans, and then my like dirty sneakers. Just to give it that more like cool, very effortless type of a vibe. And then Connor, he's wearing it with like a turtleneck. And with the turtleneck, I feel like Connor is giving more like formal vibes. Although he's wearing dickies, which is still a vibe. Don't even wrong, it's still a vibe, but it, I feel like the dickies does make his look look more casual. But if he had on like, for instance, like a nice tailored pant, it'll look even more like nighttime. Um, dressy like a tire. But yeah, I just wanted to give y'all like different vibes and like different ways that you can actually wear an oversized sport coat. So that is going to be the first jacket that I think you should have in your wardrobe. The second coat I'm gonna be talking about is actually a single breasted wool coat. And obviously this coat is, looks more dressy. This one is by Acne Studios. I absolutely love Acne Studio coats. I feel like they always nail the tailoring of a coat. And this style coat, it doesn't even have to be single breasted, but I would just say a like long wool coat in general, double breasted, single breasted. Again, you can find this style coat at the thrift store. And when it comes to like coats and jackets, I think that fall and winter is like the perfect time to like wear color because those are like the more gloomy months, the more just like dreary day. So why not get a pink, orange, blue, purple jacket? You know, it'll liven your spirits up a little. So I actually love this wool coat in this like blush color. And I would say that if you want to do color but you're kind of like skeptical or like um, don't feel like a colorful jacket will be super wearable, go with a more muted color. Like for instance, this blush coat is blush. So it's not like super in your face like a hot pink or fuchsia. I can still wear it with like grays and blacks and tans and it still just looks super everyday. And I feel like this length coat in particular looks really nice on like tall people, short people, in between people. I am like five, five and a half for reference. It's still a length that you can get away again with wearing it with dresses, jeans, and just look really, really chic and suave. This is definitely that type of coat that you can share um, with your boyfriend or your girlfriend or whoever. Like it's just that type of coat that can really work with any style um, on any type of like body type for the most part. Um, mainly because it's just like super just simple in the way that it's cut. With this coat, I'm not gonna lie, I'm like kinda mad because I didn't get it dry cleaning not once last year and I, that's when I got it like last year uh, from this job that I was working at. I like won it in a contest. Uh, 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 uh. I don't know if y'all can pick it up on camera, but it has like more of a rough texture to it. And it also kind of like feels rough. I remember when I first got it, it was like super, super soft. And it would still be super, super soft if I would have just gotten it dry clean at least every, you know, month or so, or at least once a month. 
but if you're a person like me who likes to invest in the pieces that they wear and expect for them to like last and that's why you invest into the pieces that you buy uh, I would say obviously it's good to just dry plan them make sure you're reading the care tags washing them how they're supposed to be washed air drying your cotton but as you can see this coat looks good on man or woman so definitely get you a single double rested long jacket honey that you can just like the matrix last but not least is actually going to be a puffer jacket i'm sure just about everyone owns a puffer jacket especially if you live in a place that's cold this puffer that i'm wearing in the video is actually by isabel morant and i got it in the ssl last year or isabel morant and twat actually more specifically and i thought that this puffer was the perfect puffer because as you can see the way it is designed the seams and the cuffs and with the scrunched cuffs on the sleeves the scrunched bottom i don't know why i keep saying scrunch but y'all can see the way it looks like it's scrunched but anyways i thought it was just the perfect puffer to dress up or dress down but as you can see connor is of course wearing it in a more dress down way again with his dickies little beat up little adidas which i think are like super cool now that they're like beat up especially and yeah i think this is like a really cool little casual look that really anybody can pull off because i wear this outfit too and i wanted to show you guys a more dressier way that you can wear a puffer which is why i got on this very dramatic black fall gown obviously you don't have to go with like a big puffer like this one you can go with something that is more like tailored or tapered to your body but i just feel like with a more oversized puffer it's just easier again to dress up dress down you can wear it just really loose and you know big and dramatic with dresses and then you can also throw it on with like a sweatshirt or a hoodie and you know a hat and just be really cool and just like chic again do not be afraid to do color i have seen really really nice like bright orange puffers Acme Studios I think just dropped like their little puffers for this year and I don't know how I feel about them saying acne everywhere I mean it's a vibe but I don't know how I feel about wearing acne all over me every day you know what I'm saying but if you're the type of person that don't like logos that's actually one of the main reasons why I don't own the North Face is because I just don't like it to say the North Face like on the front of it on the back of it like it's just too much and i just don't like wearing just like logos i mean that's something to know about me um in case you are new to my channel i don't really like wearing logos so you kind of will never ever see me in something that's just like super branded but yeah if you're into like logo lists jackets i will try to have a couple of my favorites down below also y'all know the ssl gonna go live live i mean they have their private sale right now but i guess that's not available to like everyone y'all know i used to be shopping you look used to be i can't i haven't been out here that bad um as of late but um that's why i have access to the private sales because you know i've gotten a couple pieces off that since but i know their main sale is going to be going live pretty soon so uh i would say get your wish list together all right y'all so that actually sums up this video those are three coats that i think will do good in anyone's wardrobe let me know what y'all favorite types of coats are to wear because i mean obviously it's just not these three coats but i feel like these three coats are like staples but anyway please comment down below your favorite style coat or your favorite brand of coat down below inspire me inspire us all and i'll see you guys in my next video